So Minimax AI just dropped the groundbreaking feature of the consistent characters and believe me, this is the best AI tool to make the consistent characters in AI videos. And this is surprisingly good with the realistic characters and anime characters. And the thing that impressed me a lot is that you just need a single image of your character. You don't need a multiple image of a character from the different angles and you don't need to train any LoRa models. So I'm very excited. Let's dive in. So I got the early access to this AI tool and this is the URL alpha.haloai.video and by the time this video will be live, this feature will be available to everyone. So this is the website. Now to access this feature, you have to go to the create section and here you can see we have a new model called subject reference and here you can see I have uploaded some of the characters earlier just to show you some of the examples so you can use any of your character so let's say I'm using this Harry Potter kind of character so after uploading the image this will do some kind of processing and will detect the facial features and once it's done you can even crop the image or you can change your character but I'm um, good with this one so hit confirm and this new model is called S2V subject to video version 01 consistent characters with the high fidelity and innovative flexibility now let's give it any random prompt a man reading a book walking in a library cinematic shot and hit generate all right so this is the output video and you can see the initial image on this side and this one is looking 90 percent similar to our character you can see his facial features glasses hair texture each and everything is looking similar to our character and even though uh, he tried to copy the suit from the character and the character in all over the video is consistent so i have also tried some other characters so this is the elf woman from our previous video and i gave it a prompt an elf woman warrior sitting on a throne and look at that how consistent it is just look at the texture skin texture you can see the bumps on the skin it captured every single detail eye color hair color ears each and everything is same and in the very next example i gave it a prompt an elf woman wearing a black suit and you can see it also maintained the environment of the forest and our character is consistent now and in this one she's wearing uh, some kind of swimsuit but from the elf army but look at this man this is the output from a single image we don't need to train any lora models we don't have to go through from the heavy process of training the loras custom loras and all that you just need a single image and you will have the consistent character in front of you so here is the one more video a woman on a hunt holding a golden bow ready to shoot an arrow and again the character is obviously the same and obviously this is not just keeping the character same this is also maintaining our background environment yes there is a slight issue with the arrow the arrow wing is just misplaced and this is the one more prompt a woman wearing a black tuxedo and looking happy and in this one you can see she is wearing a black tuxedo but still in a forest and this is the one more example where i prompted a woman holding a sword with green energy in it and this one is also looking very good yes we have a slight morphing and a sudden shift at the end of the video but overall the scene is good so just imagine how easy it is now to make the consistent characters from just a single image and this feature is from the minimax which is already one of the leading ai video generator out there and here's the one more shot of exact same elf lady this shot is also looking very very good well this is not a new thing video ai has already done this thing with their version 1.5 and if we go to their reference to video you can see inside of the 1.5 version you can upload your character so i tried to upload the same character and i gave it a same prompt and here is the output from the video ai so you can see the side by side comparison between both of them and i have to say that video ai has also maintained the character very well but uh, you can see the motions are not as good as the uh, minimax ai so here is the one more example a woman on a hunt golden bow ready to shoot an arrow and again the character is consistent but the motions are not good you can see there is some kind of a morphing and uh, the dynamics are not very good so here is the one more example again side by side comparison between minimax and we do ai a woman holding a sword with, with green energy in it and in this one yes we have some better motions uh the character is consistent but you can see in the video ai and the minimax ai there is a difference in the facial features so the video ai is more on the structured side it changed the facial features of the character a bit but in minimax ai it maintained the character very well and next up a woman riding a horse you can see a side by side comparison 
and again I would say the Minimax AI performed very well. I'm not saying the video AI is bad. This is good. The character consistency is good, but you can see some kind of a morphing at uh, the initial frames and the motions are more natural and smooth in the Minimax AI. So next up, I used this Asian woman character with short hairs and I prompted a woman recording a selfie video in her bedroom and uh, you can see the character is almost similar i'm not saying this is 100 percent same because it changed a character a bit you can see the reference image on the sidebar and i tried the same prompt inside of the video ai with the same character and the here is the output from the video ai and i would say the video ai maintained the character better than the minimax ai but it didn't follow the prompt you can see the woman is just standing and there is nothing uh, like a selfie video or the woman is recording but in case of the Minimax AI it followed the prompt but the character is not 100% same it is just similar to our initial image but in case of the video AI the character is same but this is not following the prompt so there are some flaws in both of these tools and here's a one more output of a same character from the Minimax AI a woman wearing a leather jacket walking on a street and it followed the prompt very accurately the character is consistent in this one I would say this is better than the previous generation although this is the same character but in this particular example the character is better than the previous generation and here is a one more female character again she is recording a selfie video and just look at that can you just imagine that this is the ai generated video i was just blown away by this one because this is so realistic and the main thing is that our character is similar and here is one more output with the same character a sniper woman ready to shoot and yes this one is also looking very very good here's a one more example where she is sitting in a cafe having a cup of tea and uh, just look at that this is amazing here's a one more example where she is riding a horse so i would say in this one uh it added two different characters our main character is at the end of the video so the ai was just confused here but the previous examples were on point so these were the examples from the realistic characters and obviously minimax performs really well with the realistic characters and then we tried the anime character and here is the output from the anime girl you can see the reference image on the side an anime girl reading a book yes the character is similar it tried to maintain that anime vibe in this one but you can see there is a slight morphing on the hand and here is a one more output where she's walking on a tokyo street at night and uh, i would say this is not very good because you can see the walking and the motion and uh, you can see some uh, people on the background they are not looking very good uh, this is not following the anime vibe i would say this is not the native anime vibe and uh, here's a one more example an anime girl walking on a road while raining and this one is a very good example obviously uh, the face is not fully visible in this one but this one is an actually anime output but in the very next example i used the same anime girl and i prompted a girl with a shocked face but minimax totally changed the style this is not an anime girl and this is not an anime character it just turned our character into a realistic character so the ai is confused what to generate so i would say the minimax is more lean towards the realistic characters but i tried the same image and the same prompt inside of the video ai and just look at this one I would say this is a much better example than the video AI because the Minimax AI didn't edit that anime vibe in the video but in case of the video AI you can see it performed really well and this is not just about a single example I'm gonna show you another example so hey I prompted an anime girl in an action holding a pistol and you can see Minimax is just ruined it yes the dynamics are good the action scenes are good but this is obviously not an anime scene but in case of the video AI it captured it very well you can see this is a totally anime vibe so in my opinion if you are trying to generate the realistic characters you should definitely go with the minimax ai but if you are working on the anime characters or the cartoon characters you should definitely go with the video ai now you might be wondering that how about the real life characters because all of the previous images that you have just watched were all ai generated so so i used this image of myself and i prompted a detective in a cinematic lighting so you can see the input image on the side and you can see the output obviously this is not me but this is i would say 80 percent 70 percent same because the ai is just guessing some of the facial features so, so this can't be 100 percent same but obviously this is similar to the character so if you're working on any ai film I would say this is the best AI tool to make the consistent characters and I hope by the time this video will be live this feature will be available to everyone to the global version so you can try this 
on their website and uh, that's it from today i hope you enjoyed this video and if you guys did do give it a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next one